Liam, an away win, but how pleased were you with the performance? Yeah, uh, first and foremost, just the result and obviously then the performance we, we assess. And uh, I thought the lads were terrific in terms of, we spoke a lot about it before on the togetherness, the team spirit, the honesty, the, you know, the behaviours that I, everyone probably get bored of me banging on about. But that, that's why I think that, that I thought there was some, some terrific moments in the scary bit. I think we can be a lot better. I thought any momentum shifts or bits came off the back of us being a little bit loose with either the ball or making some you know, poor decisions, which is, is the bit for me that excites me. I think we've still got so much to come. Um, so, yeah, like, overall, a, a, a terrific performance and a terrific result, uh, you know, a tough place to come. What pleased you most, the, on the ball or out of possession? Probably, probably both. I, I have to say the whole thing. Um, it, it wasn't too long, just a day, it wasn't too long ago we were at Blackburn feeling a little, uh, you know, a little bit low, a little bit. And that, that, that's why for me, I spoke to the lads just now in terms of reinforces about that, not too high, not too low. Was it when we played about two, three weeks ago? Um, you know, again, it's head, head down, hard work, stay level because it changes so quickly in this division. And uh, I, I said early on we were creating so many chances. At some point, you know, we'd we, we'd do what we've done today and you know score a hatful of goals. So, yeah, look, I, I think firstly, you know, it's a massive well done to the players, the staff, you know, for staying grounded, for you know, focusing on the, the actions that will get us, you know, what we got today. You want goals from across the team? Did you expect one from Campring today? <laughs> I hadn't, to be fair. Um, I got into a good area, and I think he, even in recent weeks, I think he's, you know, how we're asking him to play is you know, physically, we're asking him to do a lot, um, and you can see that with how he joins uh, the attacks, and yeah, no, delighted for him. When you get into good areas, is an own goal sometimes inevitable? Tommy's cross. Yeah, of course. I think asking the question, I think that that in terms of, you know, hopefully, uh, hey, you, you can see the progress in the team and how we're trying to play and what we're trying to do, and uh, throughout the game, I thought we carried a real threat, whether it be on counter attacks, whether it be, you know, in in terms of. You know, building through them, I thought there were some really good moments where we, we got into some terrific areas and uh, th I think when you work in the good areas, controlled areas, you can repeat good and that, that's what we did at times today. I thought we got into some great areas and, and again, hey, I'll be super critical. I think we could have even scored more. When you concede a goal away from home, sometimes it can kind of sort of be a bit nervous time, but a minute later, Mark Sykes pops up at the far post. Yeah, and it wasn't too long ago in Middlesbrough, right? I think that in terms of shows again progress, learning experiences. Um, you now we were tuning up at half time at home to Middlesbrough and concede straight away at the start of the second half and before you know it's 2 2. So, again, I think we spoke a lot around that, that not panicking, not you know, getting emotional about it. It's actually, you know, change, you can't change what's just happened, concentrate on what's to come. So, you know, uh, get together, stick together, you know, make sure that we're compact, make sure we don't give anything cheap away. And, and yeah, it was a terrific response. You brought a couple of hundred caps off the bench in terms of Naki Wells and Andreas Weiman. For Andy to score his 50th league goal for Bristol City, that was quite a moment. He took it well. Yeah, terrific finish, terrific finish. And again, I, I can't speak highly enough of Andy. I know he's frustrated probably not to have, you know, get the minutes. I think, you know, every player's desperate to play and start, etc. So, But what, what he has done is he, his experience, his calmness, how he is around the place is massive in terms of for the group, especially with some of the younger ones we've got. So, you know, being able to bring on someone like him and J-Mo and Naki, you know, in, in them stages of the game to, you know, to see it through, uh, you know, terrific. First time we won triple back-to-back -back games since November 2020. In terms of the momentum of this team, how important are those three wins? Yeah, I think it beliefs a lot, right? I think in terms of you know, giving belief in what we're trying to do, how we're trying to move forward. I think you know that that sometimes you need that you know, need it the validity, valor, whatever the word is. You need to uh, you know rubber stamp that you're heading in the right direction. Again, I think that you know the wins do that for you. It helps that belief. But you know, I think it's, it's another three points. It's you know me. I'm, and I go, right, let's get ready to go again because it's such a relentless season. So it's a lovely feeling for, you know, saying to the lads, we trained yesterday afternoon and travelled. And, you know, some, especially when you've got young kids, some of the times, you know, the people don't see that the players are away from home and we've got them in at training yesterday, four o'clock, and, you know, the sacrifices they do make. Um, so, you know, we spoke about that before. I mean, you know, do it for your families to make the sacrifice of yesterday worthwhile to, you know, to get the outcome of what we've got today. And great connection at the end with the fans, more than a thousand travelling on Boxing Day. It's sometimes never an easy journey, is it? No, no, never. It's a huge commitment, you know, financially and time. Um, so uh, they were excellent again today. I have to say, the you know, it was nice. I think it's our first away win since we've been in. So again, I think you know to send them home happy, and you know, especially like I said, you can really feel that connection now between the you know the players and the fans, which you know the direction we want to go in is going to be really important.